Hello and welcome to the latest episode of Toy Geek Maniac. I am your host, Chad Thomas. Okay, so I finally completed my Thundercats team uh, with the uh, Funko Savage World line of Thundercats action figures. Currently they uh, consist of uh, Lion-O, Shitara, Panther, Tigra, and then you have the Evil Mutants as well. I'm not buying those um, because these are already skyrocketing in price. I paid anywhere from five to eight dollars for each of these figures and now I see that they're going for roughly around 20 so I don't think I'm gonna collect the Evil Mutants however if they come out with a three pack with Wily Kit, Wily Cat, and Snarf I might show out some money for that but until then my my line is complete so I'm super excited about that so let me open up Lionel All right, so as typical with the rest of the line, you got articulation at the hips, at the shoulders, the waist, and the head. Very representational of the original animated series. Um, also much in the style of the original line of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe toys from the 80s. Very reminiscent of that. So, now the next thing is the accessories. One of the problems I have with this line is that the accessories are very difficult to attach. So let's see if this is any exception. So first off we have the claw shield, which is to go on his left hand. And that actually went on pretty well. I'm actually really surprised about that. Now, his Sword of Omens won't be able to fit in this hand, obviously, so let's see. Sword of Omens. Well, I got there eventually. <laughs> All right, so Thundercats are on the move. Thundercats are loose. I now have my full line of Thundercats. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Toy Geek Maniac. There are plenty of others for you to watch and enjoy, as well as other content here from Renslin Productions. Feel free to check it out, hit like, hit subscribe, hit that notification bell to get notified whenever we upload a video. And as always, love and light to you all.